I've been gone for a while, so update. I am about to go on a trip to Bloomington, Indiana for the sole purpose of the fact that Janeway, Captain Janeway from Star Trek Voyager is going to be getting a statue made in her future birth town, hometown, town of birth. I'm flying there just to go watch them unveil a statue of Captain Janeway. I'm driving back to LA. I'm gonna go stop at my buddies. She's gonna cut my hair because what is happening? What is happening with the phone? And then I have to get up at 3 a.m. to get on a flight to go to Bloomington, Indiana, which apparently is gonna have a bunch of thunderstorms. <laughs> anyway, heading back to Hollywood from my parents. Let's see how this goes. Star Trek! She made it. <laughs> The lift will be here in 10 minutes, and I'm going to the airport. Once all safety checks are complete, the cabin lights will be turned off. All right, I am in Indianapolis. My flight, my second flight was a little late. There's a plane going by. Shh. We will rent a car and drive the rest of the way to Bloomington. In the meantime, finally, there's some air. It's weird because it's like nighttime, but I'm three hours later, so it's, it should be midday which means I still wanna um, play board games and, and drink and hang out. So we broke to our rooms and I think we're gonna go play Star Trek, Chrono Treks or something. I gotta do everything Star Trek. It's a Star Trek weekend, yeah. So we decided to go walk over to see where the statue is. And I gotta tell you, they're kinda, it's like spoiling Christmas. I can see the shape of it. It's wrapped up in a black cloth. I can see they put some saran wrap. There's the plaque. There it is! I'm excited! <laughs> that hair, that, that's unmistakable. What is that, season four hair? Season four to five hair? <laughs> four onward hair? Yeah. So here's the story. Mom and I bought some pins for Star Trek Vegas, some Janeway pins. And then we lost them, couldn't find them. I was heartbroken, had to come to this event. No pins. So mom had them overnight them. She bought new ones. Let's open them. They sent me the things, get the, the 70 and 90 and the Janeways. But look it, they also sent this. We didn't order this. And he wrote a nice little thing. Where is it? Saying, saying something a little extra. Oh, angels. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're playing Star Trek Chrono Treks. I gotta go. <laughs> we're microwaving pizza and we're gonna watch the movie Free Enterprise and tomorrow morning Janeway is getting her statue unveiled. This is history and it's important. So tomorrow, yeah. I'm freezing all the time. It's cold here all the time. <laughs> I think it's gonna be like the 40s or 50s degrees today, but we're gonna be heading out in a half hour, head that direction of downtown. The event starts at 11. We're just gonna get there a little early and stake out the place. That's the plan. So I'm exhausted, dude. I just barely slept. And I'm cold. God. It is 10.30-ish. I am freezing. It hurts in my soul. It's so bad. What, how cold is it? It's not that cold. Jesus. We're going over. I see a bunch of nerds over there. It starts in like a half hour. This should have been an indoor statue. I'm not down. I'm cold. One of the event organizers gave me a coat to wear. <laughs> Lucky, the live stream will be. Oh, wait, you can read it now. Oh, yes. I'm just gonna, you're gonna have to pause it and read it. She's under there. She's under there. Get, yeah, get in on that. So cool. Are we at the thing? We're at the thing. We're at the thing. Look over there. Where is it? You 
Oh, I moved it. Over there. I didn't move it. Gateway statue. I brought an Ewok umbrella just to mix the phantoms up. Oh, she's talking. or that naivete, or perhaps one might even say that blindness, had stood me in good stead when in fact it, it came upon me. Um, I think a lot of uh, people who are lucky enough to be in leadership roles do not expect it to come, and certainly not in this way, as an actress. Um, but it transcended acting very, very quickly, and I realized that I was going to be acting as a model particularly for young women, and more, even more particularly for young women in science. So uh, to be able to marry my creative passion with a, a legacy of this uh, kind was, um, was wonderful and continues to be wonderful. And when I use words like it's a privilege, it's an honor, it's because there are not yet other words that can surpass them in meaning. It is a great privilege to be able to have played her and to know of her, her great, great uh, resonance in the cultural world today. And now, I think we've all waited long enough to bring Captain Janeway mm -hmm. home. How can I? So now I'm going to bring up some folks we're going to help end this suspense. <laughs> We've got Peter and Mary Beth and Adam. Yeah. <laughs> All through this project, I have heard so many stories about how Captain Janeway inspired others to accomplish so much. I am so very proud to be a part of this project. And Spud Bear and I would like to say a very sincere thank you. Thank you to all who helped make it happen. <laughs> Thank you all. I know you want to see the statue. You're going to have it in a second. But just thanks to everybody who supported us, taking this from idea to reality. We took the journey. Today we are at the journey's end. Today the Captain Janeway, Captain Janeway returns home to the place of her birth. Yeah. Five, four, four, three, two, one. Yeah. to the fingernail. 
<laughs> and uh, I am a very discerning uh, uh, patron of the arts, and you are indeed an exquisite artist. So I see that gathered here today, you want to be artists and geniuses, uh, not to mention visionaries. I could not be more moved or more thrilled. I'm going to go up to my granddaughter today, hold her in my arms, look at her and say, uh, engage my love. <laughs> We're so happy for you and your, your newest addition to your family. Thank you. And make me one promise, all of you, because we will be here when this pandemic subsides, and it will subside. This too shall pass. And then I am coming physically. EMT. Lift a glass of champagne, it will be on me, it will be on Janeway. God bless you all and red alert! <laughs> That was really cool. The statue looks awesome, but we are trying to run full speed to the Irish lion because I want to beat the crowds and I don't want to fight people to take pictures with the statue. I'll come back later so I can full on mouth kiss that thing. No one's here now. Well, roughly. So you can look at it up close. Look at that. I realized, I didn't realize what I was seeing, but someone left coffee beans as an offering. <laughs> That's cool. And then this dude put his hand in. He's got a big hand. That's a big hand. That's really, that's insane. Oh. <laughs> Everyone has been around here all day. And all I wanted to do, I'm gonna do it. If I get hepatitis. She warned me and I'm not doing anything to stop it. <laughs> I'm just saying, people might see this online and think it's disrespectful. <laughs> I'll go get some sanitizer afterwards. I'm gonna full on mouth kiss this statue. <laughs> it's okay, okay, leave me alone. Give me a minute, give me breath. <laughs> it's so absurd. All right. It's weird because she's looking right at me. Yeah. I need to ask consent first. <laughs> I can't. I can't bring myself to full on mouth kiss the statue. What is wrong with me? I don't know. Why is everyone watching me? Because <laughs> you set the stage. I did. I did. <laughs> it feels like I feel like for like a grandma kiss. Like, you know, when you like. I'm sorry, Janeway. I respect you a lot. <laughs> I'll see you later, babe. <laughs> we are at Upland Brewing Company because they give you 10% off if you wear Star Trek stuff. And I think, I think I put enough Star Trek stuff on to qualify. Russell doesn't have any. So he's not getting a discount. I won't even give him one pin. Ooh. Ooh, look at all the, the glowy look. It's glowy. It's glowy. With those glowy lights. Makes it glowy. Magic. We didn't we didn't leave any burnt offerings. No. Darn it. We didn't we didn't sprinkle it with Tuvix blood to consecrate. <laughs> 